Hey y'all, today I'm going to show you how I embellished these wooden houses from Dollar Tree for Halloween. I picked these up. Um, they had this for their Halloween decor, these little whimsical wooden cutouts shaped like little haunted houses. I'm not going to use the witch hats for this particular DIY, but I did use three of these little houses, two of the small ones and one of those flat ones like that. I took them outside, spray painted them with some black spray paint. Um, I was too lazy, honey to sit there and use the you know the acrylic paint and paint them by you know with a brush so spray paint's your best friend sometimes I went in my craft stash and found these little wooden um, square shapes and I'm gonna use those to create doors um, I've had that bag of wooden um, shapes from Hobby Lobby for years and I got that on clearance honey so this is pretty much an all, all Dollar Tree DIY. I also cut out a little door out of some uh, variegated cardboard um, that I had in my stash. It was black and worked perfectly for this. And I just wanted to add a little dimension to the houses by, you know, adding doors and, you know, embellishing them a little bit. So what I'm doing now is taking my glue gun and creating some doorknobs and some little faux window panes if you will um with the cardboard door i just created a doorknob and with these i'm gonna do the same and then with the um last one i'm just gonna you know do the faux window pane on it that first piece of wood i kind of took an exacto knife and cut a little hole to create a window on that particular door um so you'll see why in a little bit but i just wanted to add just a touch like i said of dimension to these little houses um to make them a little more interesting but i'm just giving you the road map you can take this road map and go in any direction you want to when it comes to embellishing these little houses um and you can tailor it to your own specific you know decor scheme for halloween if you want to or you can do the same thing i did it's totally on you so what i'm going to do now is take this um black acrylic paint and just paint these two wooden pieces so that they match Just make sure that your uh, glue is dried thoroughly. And be sure that you get the edges and everything. Um, you don't want your door to be, you know, partially painted. You don't want to see that raw wood color or anything. And here I'm just going over the glue on the little cardboard door because I want it to match. I didn't want that little shininess from the doorknob. 
or from the glue to you know shine on the doorknob so now what I'm gonna do is attach the doors to the houses um, I'm gonna use this one which again I cut to size for this um, house right here and just using hot glue again to attach it you can use any kind of adhesive that you have on hand if you don't have a glue gun Elmer's glue will work fine um, E6000 or super glue whatever you've got <laughs> even double-sided tape if you want to use that and I like the way that that looks then with this one I'm going to use one of the square doors and again they were the perfect size for um, these little houses and I think it is super cute once they're attached and this one I actually cut a hole in the little piece of wood to look like a little um, window on the door and I just used um, an exacto knife to cut that little square shape out of it and with this one I'm going to attach the door at an angle so that it'll look as though it's opened so that when we put light behind it you can see the light coming through and all I did was just run a bead of glue on the side of the opening and just again like I said attach it at an angle so it looks like it's open as you can see love that okay next I'm gonna create some curtains out of this little creepy cloth from Dollar Tree I wanted it to have sort of a old you know spooky worn look to it and the creepy cloth was perfect for this but if you don't have that or don't want to use it you can always use some Halloween fabric if you want to or some cheesecloth even um, like facial tissue or paper towel to give that sort of you know cloth or curtain effect if you want to um, just be creative and you know think outside the box search your stash for whatever you know you may have make it your own so I've cut the cloth to size and I'm gonna attach it again with hot glue and if you do use this technique with the glue be careful because it is hot and that creepy cloth has a loose weave and that glue is going to come through you don't want to burn yourself so be really careful use a spatula or your scissors or something to help push that fabric down into the glue And I love that little effect. So when the light comes through, you kind of see that little fabric through the window. Sorry, I'm out of frame. But again, I'm just doing the same thing on the other side.
And there we go. So, there we go. We'll focus. Looks really cute. I like how that turned out. So, with the next one, what I did was I took some plastic from some wrapping. I want to say, I think I had some craft supplies or something in this little plastic bag. But what I'm going to do is create sort of a stained glass look by taking one of these uh, markers from Dollar Tree. It's just an artist marker in purple. And um, I'm just going to color over the plastic. And it has that sort of you know again stained glass effect you can do multiple colors if you want to i just chose purple to keep it simple and i'm gonna cut it to size and put it um behind the windows again so when the light comes through you'll see that sort of purple glow i guess and um this is a great way to recycle plastic or whatever um or if you have some colored vellum from the scrapbooking section or in your scrapbook stash or whatever you can use that but this is a quick and easy way you know instead of throwing it away create something wonderful out of it so love how that looks and i'm just gonna attach that behind the other windows and we'll be done with this one I'm going to even put a little piece behind the window on the door. And that is so cute to me. I love how that looks. And with the next house, I'm actually going to take um, a piece of vellum. And this is on the larger house. I got this vellum, as you can see, on clearance from Hobby Lobby years ago. I just searched my stash. And it has sort of a wood grain um, tone to it. But I'm just going to use it sort of like dirty windows, really cloudy windows that haven't been cleaned in a while. And I'm going to attach those to the back. I just cut it to size. I could have, you know, made individual little pieces to go behind the window. But... Being lazy, I just cut one little strip <laughs> and attached it. And I'm gonna do the same with the other um, window cutouts on this particular house. And again, this is the larger of the three houses. And what I also did, um, as you'll see, in a few minutes, I got some Halloween stickers in the shape of ghosts and owls and things like that that I had gotten from Dollar Tree, and I used those to embellish. I lost the footage of me applying those, but it just added a little more character to these houses. So feel free to use whatever you may have on hand or what you may find in Dollar Tree or any other craft store. Um, but yeah, just... Have fun with it. And there we go. I love that sort of contrast and colors. I love how that looks. So what I'm going to do is create a stand for this house since it didn't have one. And what I'm going to do is remove the stand from one of those um, fall pumpkins that Dollar Tree carried. I actually got this one for 50 cents because it was kind of broken because it kind of fell out of the stand so I knew what I was going to do with it when I got it 
And as you can see, I attached some stickers and stuff to the houses, a little ghost sticker and stuff to make it look spooky. So again, you can do the same thing. And right now I have a little witch broom that I had in my little um, Halloween stash. And I'm just gonna sort of hot glue it to the side of the house as though the witch has parked her broom and she's inside. Um, and I got these, uh, I think from Tuesday morning a long time ago. And I, again, again, I put them up knowing that I'd eventually use them. And here they are in my dining room. I love how they look. So have fun and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.